<laughs> Bro, Chad, chill. Like, I want. I was gonna pause it because I wanted to guess like who he's gonna choose. Right? I was gonna guess which troublemaker he's gonna choose. I was thinking either Han or Changbin. Like, it was gonna be one of three, Raj. But he didn't even give me a chance. The my man answered so fast. He didn't give me a chance to even like con consider like, oh, who could it be? The shorties are coming up. Strawberry kids. Oh, it goes to pink. Look how short they're tiny. Look at him. They're so tiny. Ugh. Hyunjin's always killing it. I know. I feel like you guys are sick of me. You're sick of me when I whenever Hyunjin raps and how much I I always bring attention to how much I love him as a rapper. I know you're sick of it, but I have to bring attention to it. Okay, we'll watch this and then I'll end the stream there, I think. I still need to make dinner as well. I gotta make din dins. Namjoon, the ultimate third wheeler. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, Tiong Shu, ah. You okay, Tiong? You okay, <laughs> it's always Jimin, bro. Bro, it's always Jimin. He's always hanging off Taehyung. Like, in the last clip as well, he was always hugging up on him and just like, leave my boy alone, Jimin. <laughs> I like that hair color on Taehyung, though. <laughs> leave my boy alone. <laughs> <laughs> for five seconds. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm June is like, why did I become a K-pop idol? <laughs> Low key, there's so much moment where I'm June's like, why did I ever enter this field? Why, why did I ever enter this industry? I regret everything that led me to this point. Not actually, obviously. I'm joking, but like. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, I would leave. Honestly, I, if I was Namjoon, I would just leave. This is his video. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, <laughs> one of these days, Namjoon's just gonna bundle them all up in a blanket and just chuck them out the window. I swear to God, his face. Good. <laughs> interior. <laughs> Bro, Namjoon does not want to be there. Namjoon does not want to be involved in whatever fuckery these two are involved in. He's just like, can I end the V-Live here? Can I please end the V-Live now? <laughs> Look at him. Like, Namjoon is like... That's, this is Namjoon. This is his face. <laughs> he's so funny, bro. Namjoon is so underrated. I think he's so funny. They're such crackheads, these two together, Jimin and V. <laughs> Bro, not Namjoon. Not Namjoon filming them like they're a nature documentary. <laughs> Yeah. 
Namjoon's smile is like, mm, that's nice. That, that's Namjoon's that, that, that smile. He's like, mm, that's that's very nice. Mm, can you just fucking leave my room now? That's very nice. Mm, 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 get the fuck out of my room, though. <laughs> that's the exact face he has. <laughs> Wait, what happened? It's always these two. <laughs> Namjoon, just... Namjoon, whenever these two are sitting together, just leave. Don't even wait for them to do anything, just leave. That Because otherwise they're going to do some shit. Every time you're going to be like, why am I here just to suffer? You want to save yourself the heartache. I mean, not heartache, but just the brain ache. Just get up and leave before they do anything, because they're going to do some shit every single time. It looks good here, though. Yep, here he is. They look really good, though. I'm tuning in the back, please. Wait, you can't see... Love <laughs> it's always him. <laughs> he's not even involved in this thing, but he's still a third wheel. He's a fourth wheel, honestly, because they they've got some trio action going on right now. But I'm in face, bro. <laughs> Bro, honestly, honestly, at this point, at this point, honestly, it's Namjoon's fault. Because, like, why are you walking up to him? You know they're going to do some shit. You know they're going to behave in the, in the way they're going to behave. Just don't get involved. Just walk away. My man is They're suffering every fine. day. He is suffering. My boy is suffering. <laughs> it started this early. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? <laughs> From all the acting, oh, because he's fake crying. <laughs> oh, V looks good here. He looks really good here. Bro, where did you come from, Jimin, bro? Where? Mother bro, when Taeyang is just existing, Jimin just materializes. Like, he's, uh, he, he, I feel like he has a sensor in his brain where it's like, Taeyang is doing something. He's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta jump on him now. He looks so good here, though, Taeyang. Can I ask what some of those hobbies are like? Bro, I always trip. I always trip out when they were doing they, when they're doing English interviews. I'm like, what language is this motherfucker speaking? They're not gonna understand what language you're speaking, bro. It's, it's gibberish. And then I'm like, oh no, it's English. <laughs> Fans, what are some of the things that you would do if you were not making your music or working on your choreography or live shows? You know, what are some of the things that you like to do that that are a side of perhaps BTS fans don't know about? Suga bought a guitar and he's practicing the guitar and um, we're like sleeping as much as we can and we watch it. <laughs> Namjoon's just like, I'm just sleeping, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just, I'm just fucking sleeping every second I can because like. That's a mood. That's a mood, honestly. Because if I was this superstar BTS person, 
I would be just like, I need to catch up with my sleep, motherfucker, because I love sleeping. I don't sleep enough, but I love sleeping. Um, yeah. Netflix, for me personally, I watch it Good Place. Oh, Good Place. Best. That's a banger. And JK wanted to say something. Good in, good in the he painted. Um, JK has some, did some painting. I did some painting. I love pennies. <laughs> yeah, Jacob's <laughs> just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm gonna say something because these two are just. Uh. <laughs> right, Namjoon looks really good there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! My boys are One Piece fans. Okay, I see, I see, T. I see you, my boy. I see you, my boy. I see you, my boy. Okay, okay. Why are you bullying me? Is that Jin? <laughs> That's a red joy I didn't even think of. No, nah, because like, um, nah, because like, the, the like scheduling people are, are always doing Namjoon dirty because like, if you're putting Namjoon together with V and Jimin, you know Namjoon's going to suffer in some way. Like, cut my boy some slack, put him with like Jin or something, like... <laughs> You know what I mean? But it, I feel like they do this shit on purpose to my boy. They're just like, oh, yeah, we're going to put him with Jimin and V. And we're going to make it let him suffer for a bit. Uh, all jokes. Obviously, this is probably like 10 second clips of this stuff happening. Where he's the, when he raises, where he's third wheeling. Because usually what I've seen on just like general clips and stuff, I've seen usually all of every member of BTS is always simping for Namjoon, honestly. Usually, so this is a rare time where it looks like he's up the third wheel. What's he doing? What's he doing? Okay, chill. <laughs> the fact that he always spots it, like the fact that every single time they're doing some sus shit, he spots it every single time. Like, I feel like the rest of the team doesn't realize what's going on. And Namjoon, every single time, as if he's got a sixth sense, he's going to spot these two, like two members out of the seven doing some shit, doing some sus shit. He's going to spot that shit. It's like he's got antennas for it. Wait, what happened? Uh, okay. <laughs> right, I'm on my salad. <laughs> Who's this white man? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. It, this is so blurry, I can't even tell who's who. <laughs> Please, no, the captions. <laughs> captions are so... They violate. Oh, not the Titanic. Who's this? J-Hope and Jin.
<laughs> Not Namjoon being scandalized. He's like, what is this? What is this? A whole house? What kind of behavior is this? That vibe? <laughs> Bro, I thought I thought Tay was just bald because his hair was so light. My man is struggling, bro. My man is struggling. And I'm just like, what's the point in coming to Malta? I'm just stuck between these fucking couples. That's the same vibe where you go to this like really mad location, but then one of your boys like brings their girlfriend or something. And then you're just like, okay, we can't even do anything because you're just all lovey dovey and just doing things. It's like, can, can you not? Like just not? Can you not for five seconds? That's the vibe I'm getting right now. <laughs> Oh, this is before Jungle got his sleeve. <laughs> My man just said couple braces. <laughs> no, why is Namjoon like that dad? Like, you know the dad that just like one of their kids like ha has a girlfriend or something or boyfriend for the first time and he's just kind of like awkward about it and he just comes in the back and he's just like, you know, th that's the vibe I got from Namjoon just now. Bro, get out of his face, Jimin. For one second. Okay, chill, Jimin. Chill. Get your eyes off his collarbone. I'm just like, bro, I'm trying to save our career here. Please stop this right now. You know what's crazy to me? Like, jokes aside, right? You know you have all these, like, kind of, like, fan service coupley moments. Because it's fan service most of the time, right? What's crazy to me is the K-pop industry, it's always plays this up, right? This narrative and this thing because people like it, right? Fans like it. But then it's also low-key one of the most homophobic industries in the world at the same time which is crazy to me. It's so crazy to me. Like, not, I'm not saying the people, like the idols and shit are homophobic. Maybe some of them are. But, I mean, the actual industry, the actual companies and shit, and the, the, the society is like so, 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 so homophobic. So I find it, um, it's so weird to me. Like, it's also the most thus fruity place on the planet, but also the most homophobic industry but i would say top 10 most homophobic industries in the world <laughs> you know like i think there's only like one open gay idol to 
to my knowledge, I only know of one openly gay idol. Um, like that's actually, you know, open about it. Uh, I don't know if there's more, there might be. It's definitely a Korea thing. I think South Korea is like, I remember what, I think it's like top 10 most like homophobic countries in the world. Like, or most, top 10 most homophobic, like, first world countries in the world. <laughs> I'm choosing expressions, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, Korea and Japan are bad in that way. Namjoon just wants to go home, bro. He's sick of the responsibility. He's like, can some that reminds me of the clip where he's like, where one of the members is like, oh, I want to become the leader of, I want to be the leader of BTS. And then Namjoon's just like, take it, take it. I, I'm convinced if anyone actually genuinely in BTS was like, I want to be the leader from now on, Namjoon was not, would not hesitate one millisecond before handing over that mantle to him. He's like, take it then, bro. You can do it. I, I'm fine with it. You can take, be leader, be leader for me, please. I beg of you, be the leader. <laughs> that man is, I've never seen someone so willing to be like, yeah, I'll just, I'll be the follower. It's fine. I'll be, the, I'll be one of the members that fucking give him, it cut me some slack. Uh, that was fun though. That was a fun video. That was definitely a fun video. I like that. I enjoyed that. Yeah, Namjoon and Chan have the same energy, in my opinion. Like, energy-wise and just, like, personality-wise, they remind me a lot of each other, where it's like, if they weren't the leader, they would be such brats. But because they're leader, they have to be so responsible and shit. Um, but, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Bro! Chad, chill. Like I wanted, I was gonna pause it because I wanted to guess like who he's gonna choose, right? I was gonna guess which troublemaker he's gonna choose. I was thinking either Han or Changbin. Like it was gonna be one of three, Raja, but he didn't even give me a chance. The my man answered so fast, he didn't give me a chance to even like con consider like, oh, who could it be? <laughs> the shorties are coming up. <laughs> Strawberry kids. Oh, uh, because the pink. <laughs> Look how short they're tiny. Look at him, they're so tiny. Ugh. Hyunjin's always killing it. I know I feel like you guys are sick of me. You're sick of me when I whenever Hyunjin raps and how much I I always bring attention to how much I love him as a rapper. I know you're sick of it, but I have to bring attention to it.